What's up? How are you guys this week? We made it another seven days at Frankie's Free Range Meat, and it is Sunday, so happy Father's Day, I guess. I am working as usual, as I do every day. We got a big ribeye discount available at checkout now for all orders, guys. So you'll see that you can add two ribeyes to your cart for $33, which is 25% off the regular ribeye price. So crazy, crazy discount. <laughs> uh, you're paying you know, $15 a pound for 100% grass-fed ribeye steaks, which is definitely like the lowest price online. So $16 a pound. So very, very affordable discount across the board for all orders. We have fresh ribeye steaks available this week. We'll show you those in the fridge. Uh, we got the duck egg sale. I sent out an email on Friday. Duck eggs are on sale. They're, they're piling up a little bit. People haven't ordered them, so I just want to make sure we're moving them out. I'm probably breaking even on them, so I'm not too happy about that, but always trying to make everyone happy, which has resulted in some quality control issues, which I will talk about and will go into uh, over the course of this video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. A lot of cheese is restocked. I'll show you guys those in the fridge as well. We got some buffalo chicken wings available. Sent out an email for that today. So we'll show you guys those in the fridge as well. And uh, we should be having potato chips back. So it's been a few months. We haven't been able to get organic potatoes. They should be back by like Friday, This by this weekend. We should have the potato chips back available, the beef fat fried organic potato chips. So I'm excited for that. And then we have a few other things to talk about that are coming in the next few weeks that are um, that I'm also looking forward to. I keep forgetting to mention it. I do wanna talk about the small order ice fee. And <laughs> in any business you do guys, there's a small percentage of customers that will absolutely put you out of business. <laughs> like, uh, like some of you guys are ordering like a marrow oil and three ribeye steaks shipped to Texas. Like I'm, I'm losing my mind. So. There's quite a few orders, about 20% of the orders, guys, I have to, I'm sending like $5 and $10 bills for extra ice. It's just, it, it's getting a little silly now, um, now that we have a large variety of products and, you know, some are more expensive. I mean, people order like nine different things that weigh four ounces each, and I got a small little box I'm shipping to California, so um, mo most of the orders are good, but if, if you guys get get a bill for ice, keep in mind, if you order less than 10 pounds of frozen product, there's a likelihood it will thaw out in the summer, so we have to charge for extra ice. This also applies to like dairy. If you order 20 quarts of milk and no meat, like is the, the pricing on the website is not designed for that. So there's some pretty unusual orders that people are trying to do. I don't like charging you guys for uh, the extra ice, but honestly, like I'd rather cancel the order than send it at that point if I... I, if I can't get paid for the ice. So I think we got a few things out here to show you guys, but I'd rather just go in the fridge first and touch on a few things. So all the fresh, raw, grass-fed A2A2 dairy is ready to ship out tomorrow. Monday, we got everything. Here are just some cheese curds, some pickled vegetables, steak sauces in stock. We got some more butter back in. We've been selling out completely every week. Water kefir still going strong. We just made a fresh batch of cookie dough. So we're not making too much because it's not selling as much as it was during the colder months and the holidays, but uh, some of you guys still ordering it, so we're making sure to keep it fresh for you. We do have a few new cheeses available. Uh, one here, we have a mature Irish cheddar that has replaced the American cheddar cheese. We're able to, to offer a much better price on this. We have the Grass-fed white cheddar cheese, which is our most affordable cheese that is imported. So this is only like $14 a pound. Uh, we have a new Swiss cheese, Appenzeller Swiss, uh, which is a slightly different flavor profile. I guess it's kind of similar to uh, Gruyere, maybe even Emmentaler, but another Swiss cheese for you guys to try. Some of you guys were complaining about the five-year Gouda that it was like a little hard and stuff. so. We have a double cream Gouda now available. That's a little higher in nutrients. We restocked the Swiss Gruyere cheese. We restocked the Manchego. Yeah, so those are the main new things. We got the Irish cheddar, we got Oppenzeller Swiss, we have white cheddar back in stock, and we have a double cream Gouda. So we have those four cheeses. Over here we have a bunch of fresh ribeye steaks. So you guys that are asking for fresh never frozen beef, 
We got these at $21 a pound, which is by far the lowest price online for ribeye, and that doesn't include the discount. So you get these with the fresh, never frozen shipping. If you order $500 worth, you apply a 15% discount. You're getting an excellent price on the fresh ribeye. Uh, I don't know when we're gonna do the fresh ground beef and have that back in. It, it hasn't been that popular, so uh, I'm losing money on it, so it's not really worth doing. This is the last of the beef bacon. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's all sold out, but we do have some pork bacon. And for those of you guys that are unfamiliar, these are the smoked and cured products. So we're selling raw pork bacon and raw beef bacon for many years. This is the more traditional preparation of it. Fresh chicken eggs, fresh duck eggs, small amount of quail eggs all came in this week. So let's go in here and show you guys this stuff before uh, we go in the freezer because I got to switch over to my phone. Last week we restocked all of the biltong, which is my favorite tasting meat. A little more expensive than the jerky, which is also very, very delicious that we do have available in stock. So we have the four ounce grass fed beef jerky. We got the classic biltong, the plain naked biltong. We got the drawer sticks all different sizes. We got most of the bars in stock on the foods website. We got plain pemmican. We have the classic pemmican with blueberries, a little bit of honey. We have a small amount of the Rice Krispies bars left. We got a fresh batch of Berry Best bars in. I reduced the price on all the Best bars to $3 a bar, down from $3.50. Vanilla, berry, and chocolate. We have the granola bars. We made a fresh batch last week and this week we made a fresh batch of Tatomi's cookies. So we were sold out for a while of the Tatomi's cookies. We have the white chocolate chip and we have the dark chocolate chip. These are made fresh every two weeks, guys. So if you want to get them, get them now. We might not have them for another month or so. Uh, the only thing we're missing right now is the quinoa crisp, which we might make next week. On the foods website, we got the, the big coconut waters back in stock, but for the most part, we kind of have everything. Not selling too much stuff, but if there's anything you guys would like, uh, definitely let me know and we'll get it for you. On organ supplements, we restock the whey protein. We have the natural collagen back in stock. Over there is a new product, the water key for minerals. We did a short on that if you guys want to watch that. And we also restocked plenty of lemon light. Over here is the natural bug spray and we should be doing the clay shampoo this week. Yeah, I think some of this stuff on the naturals website is still on liquidation. So if you guys want like the Alafia shampoo body wash or conditioner or the deodorant really cheap those are all those all have to go this week and then the main new things that we were talking about on the organ supplements website are the calcium d3 and k2 so we have in capsules now calcium carbonate the natural chelation we have vitamin d in coconut oil in 1000 iu capsules and we have very special vitamin k2 in 110 microgram capsules and this is very affordable this is like 20 bucks a lot of the vitamin k2 mk4s will be like 50 60 70 dollars so a very affordable version of k2 for people that haven't been able to get it this is the uh liver detox smoothie we still have a decent amount of this available three boxes very special product now i did find the actual wholesale source of that so i wasn't getting the best price on all the ingredients now i think i can cut like my ingredient costs down substantially by 30 or 40 percent so i'm looking forward to that but i don't i don't sell enough of it and i'd have to buy so much of the powder that i, I don't think it would be worth it i'd have to almost hire like a whole production team for a week or two just to make it so we know we have access to cheaper versions of all the ingredients for that detox smoothie so if we want to sell it in larger uh containers for a better price that that is a possibility but that for 35 dollars any other company would be selling that current product for like 70 guaranteed it's all high quality usda organic ingredients it's by far the healthiest shake mix on the market like i, I cannot speak enough about that liver detox smoothie and how special it is compared to any other smoothie on the market speaking of which there's a pallet of mountain valley behind me and we got a pallet of fuji guys no one else is crazy enough i probably spend like twenty five thousand dollars a year on glass bottled mineral water just in the products and making soups and making stocks, rinsing out supplement bottles. I, I'm a lunatic, guys. It is absolutely insane. I'm making this clay shampoo with Mountain Valley mineral water. No one else is crazy enough to do this and have as high of a quality of a product. No one is doing I have not seen anyone doing it. And if they did, they'd probably charge you double the price I'm charging. So I keep forgetting to show you guys the Wi-Fi shielding stuff, but we do have all of the shorts and sweats in stock. 
I will be getting the king and queen canopies back, so hopefully you guys buy them. You guys can see this on the website, wifishielding.com, just shorts. We got the long sleeve stuff for full body protection. I always wear it all day, every day, guys. So we got our Wi-Fi shielding sweatshirt on with the joggers on the bottom. And I also wear uh, two t-shirts for like double protection. And this hat is the Wi-Fi shielding hat with the silver lining inside. So something I've needed to do to always feel good and always feel sharp. So let's go in the, let's go in the freezer and show you guys a few new things. So we got a fresh shipment of chicken in this week. Everything is available. Chicken breast, whole chicken, thighs, drumsticks. What's new is because we weren't able to sell the wings as quickly, I decided to do uh, an organic buffalo sauce on some of these wings. So we marinated these for two days, sealed them up, put them in the freezer for you guys. Uh, this is just the organic buffalo sauce from Whole Foods. So I figured some of you guys would just like the convenience. You know, we, we don't charge more. Uh, we like for profit, we just charge what I spent on the buffalo sauce. So I think they're like a dollar more per pound and you have something delicious. Um, it's just all like high quality organic ingredients. We use a lot of grass fed butter in this. So try it out, let me know how you guys like it. Uh, we might start doing stuff like that for like, I might do a, a garlic lemon chicken breast. Let me, let me know if you guys are interested in that type of stuff because for me, it's a lot of work and if people aren't gonna buy it or pay more for it, I'm not, I don't really wanna do it. We did finally restock the Wagyu New York strip steaks. And you know, for, for $42 a pound, I think we have the cheapest Wagyu steaks online. Uh, we restocked the Wagyu ribeye as well, but the, the strips were sold out for a while. We have a decent amount of bone in porterhouse, but we kind of, uh, we kind of ran out of ribeye. We have a new grass fed burger that's a little more affordable if you guys want to try this out. Uh, plenty of filet mignon tenderloin on sale, that's probably the best deal we have right now is the price on these tenderloin steaks is like half of what everyone else sells them for online. Over here we got a few new things. This is just our best burger blend restocked. Uh, for ground beef we have a deal on some store brands. So uh, these are really nice and affordable on the website like around $8 a pound. If I can get it out. We have 85, oh no. This is 93.7 organic. And here we have, that's some more 93.7 but this we have 8515 organic as well. So some affordable ground beef if you guys want it. This is just some beef heart we restocked. And I think this is some organ grind. Organ grind now guys, it's, it's much higher fat. So if you guys have been wanting more fat content in your organ grind, we have that now. So let's get into the quality control issues. The first was our collagen broth. You know, I spoke with the Amish farmer and it was under my assumption that he was cooking it for 30 hours. He wasn't. He was doing it on a higher heat for 10 hours. I don't know why, if he was, if he just didn't want to do it, if he didn't have time, if he was being lazy. I fixed it. We made this ourselves, 30 hour collagen broth. It's a higher price on the website compared to the other one. So this is $12 and the one that hasn't been cooked as long is $8. It's just a little more gelatinous and has a milder flavor. They're still both excellent quality products and and that old collagen broth that he made, not old, but did, he cooked at higher temperature. It's still very high quality and has a lot of collagen. It's just not up to the standard that I like. The other issue that we have with quality control, also Amish related, is the ice cream. The vanilla ice cream to me is okay. Uh, the cookie dough is a little hard. I don't know why, so I reduced the price on it, although we don't really have much left. The Mabu pecan ice cream is not sweet enough. Uh, I reduced the price. You might you just probably just want to add a little more maple syrup to it and then it'll be good. The strawberry ice cream is good. I liked it. The honey ice cream was a little hard. So I don't know if he didn't put enough cream in that. So I reduced the price on it. Uh, the kefir ice cream is the one only one I haven't tried yet. And then the, the chocolate ice cream was okay. So vanilla and chocolate are okay. Strawberry is good. The other three I reduced the price on for you guys if you want to add more cream or more syrup to them. And we also had an issue with the local ground beef. So he was having a new guy seal these up and unfortunately there was some air in the packages. Most of them are okay, they're like this, but the, the meat is so fresh it's, it doesn't matter. But you know, some of them look like this, you know, which, which I don't really like, which to me is not acceptable. I mean, we're selling this stuff for $8 a pound, so it's really cheap and affordable. 
but like like this in the fridge it looks fine when we were selling this as the fresh ground beef it looks fine but when you put it in the freezer and there's water crystals in it you know i mean you're not going to get higher quality ground beef for this price and it's still good it's just you know from an appearance perspective it's just not as presentable we also got a uh, a decent amount of prime ribeyes in stock more marbling yeah so i talked to the butcher and he was fairly receptive that issue is going to be resolved 100% moving forward. We're going to get him a new vacuum machine and we're not going to have any more issues with the ground beef. So we're going to fix that and not have a stroke. I'm going to be doing the collagen broth myself now. So same consistent quality that we've been selling for a while. And uh, on the ice cream, I don't know. I'm going to talk to him about the ice cream. A lot of times, like, they're not receptive. Like, they get a little upset when I explain to them, look, you didn't make this properly. But I'm, like, 100% sure he didn't follow the recipe. Because if he put the ratios of cream to sugar to egg yolks that I wrote down on that recipe, it would not taste like that. It would have a much better texture. It would have the correct sweetness. So I, I don't really know what happened. If they were, they could have been just not paying attention and maybe they didn't measure it properly. Maybe the, the cream wasn't thick enough, but even then, why is it not sweet enough? Did they, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Maybe the maple syrup was too, I don't, I don't know what went wrong with some of those ice cream flavors, but uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired of, I'm just tired of having to repeat myself and and the, and when you do certain things and mistakes keep happening you just you just can't move forward you keep going back because if if you think you have a product that's good and people like it and then that's not the truth because other people you're relying on are dropping the ball then you're going to lose customers you're going to lose money i got i get the short end of the stick now because i got to sell the ice cream at a discounted price and people probably aren't going to buy it again same thing with the ground beef people might not buy it again so i'm i'm a little upset at that i'm just trying to stick it out and explain this to you guys and and thankfully you guys continue to support me and i'm trying my best so we'll try to sort that out over the next few weeks and hopefully not have any issues moving forward speaking of which we did send him some uh, about 400 pounds of pastrami and beef bacon yeah so we're gonna have the pastrami and beef bacon back next week well beef bacon we've had in stock but the pastrami will be back in stock next week we'll see how much comes back what the yield loss is and then i think i'm also going to make some uh plain brisket so like the pastrami has the spice blend i'm just gonna do like a plain salt and pepper smoked brisket that some of you guys might like which is probably just a little leaner than the bacon because the bacon and the brisket are technically the same spice rub, but the meat's different flavor, so maybe some of you guys will like that more. But yeah, not too happy with uh, the ground beef, I guess, wasn't that bad. The collagen broth upset me a little bit. I was, because I was paying this guy a lot of money for that broth every week, and I tried it a few times and it was okay, but the past few times I tried it, and I guess people haven't been buying it as much, I, now I know why. Uh, he dro he's dropping the ball on that. That's I was a little upset when I tasted and looked at that, and uh, and the ice cream too because he's been bothering this kid's been bothering me to make more ice cream every week, and then I go to taste every single one of them this morning, and I'm not happy with him. So, yeah, I'm I'm losing my mind, guys. Because when, when I gave him that recipe the first time and I tried all the ice cream, it was good. It was delicious. We we sat down. We even did a YouTube video on it. I think my camera's fogging up a little bit or something. We li we literally had a YouTube video. We sat down, I tried all the ice creams, and I told you guys how delicious they were, and then he goes to make another batch, and he doesn't follow the recipe, and it's, you know, I want, I gotta, I gotta go through all my inventory every week and taste everything and make sure everything's the same, like, it's not, not acceptable. So. Let's read some reviews, I guess. See what else. Yeah, the potato chips should be back in stock this week. That's big. Uh, I'm excited for when we can do this this new these new collagen bar products. I don't know when that's going to be because I don't know when I'm getting the collagen, but all the all the flavors I came up with and the recipes and stuff they're really really delicious. I'm super excited to be launching uh, that new collagen bar line. So maybe in the next few weeks we'll have that. We spoke about uh, most of the other stuff I have to touch on. So I guess we can uh, I guess we can go over the uh, some reviews. I won't, I won't talk about the HVAC stuff this week. Uh, I'm going to try to resolve it uh, and try to get some money back before I, I start complaining and making videos and talking about it. But um, not only, because some of you guys know, like I mentioned, like gas was stolen out of that 
refrigerator rack machine which is like fifteen thousand dollars worth of r22 gas but i can't prove the guy stole it but the same guy that might have stole it i was looking at the invoice he charged me for from the bank loan and he overcharged i i gave it i gave that invoice to the new hvac guy that it's that's trustworthy and honest and the guy overcharged me like ten thousand dollars in material like he literally just marked up the material like three times what it cost him which doesn't make any sense so hypothetically twenty five thousand dollar issue so i'm going to talk to the bank and try to get this resolved if not i guess we're going to have to just start making videos because it's a disgusting amount of money and it's not acceptable i'm not going to get into it this week but not only did that guy take all that money and charge me so much he didn't he didn't even fix it he, he didn't even fix and do the proper work which is the crazy the, the icing on the cake it's unbelievable so we got a five star view for the a2a2 raw ice cream i had chocolate vanilla is great we'll get more flavors later. yeah so as i said most of the flavors are okay. Some of them I wasn't too happy with. Five star view for the grass-fed brisket. Best beef, turkey, and chicken I've ever had, and such a great price too. Five star view for the grass-fed ribeye package. Always amazing quality. I've been ordering from Frankie's website for a little over three years. I've always been more than satisfied by not only the quality of the items, but also the quickness the company provides. I always ordered the seven pound ribeye package and recently ordered the skirt steak. I have to say that the skirt steak has become my new favorite, and for so long, I didn't realize what I was missing. If Frank ever adds a bulk package to the skirt steaks, I will order them all. LOL. Um, yeah, I mean, we're already charging kind of as little as we can for the skirt steaks, so... I'm not sure if we could charge less. Five-star view for the wild-caught salmon caviar. Excellent. Large, clear, tasty caviar. Five-star view for the best bar. Happy with my vanilla best bars and all my food products. Still experimenting and working with all the products. They're not very sweet on their own compared to similar products, but very functional and dense. A grocery stretching, bodybuilding, survival camping, no-brainer because I trust the ingredients. We'll continue to support. Thanks, Frankie. Five-star view for the Iberical Pork Bacon. Amazing and high-quality bacon. This bacon is so good that I want to eat the whole thing in one sitting. I cook up one or two pieces, then use some of the fat to cook my Frankie corn and soy-free eggs in it. Great product, Frankie. Yeah, it's right. Really, really special product, guys. No, no one else is selling Iberico pork bacon like that online. You can't get it anywhere. Five-star review for the pasture-raised whole chicken. Fantastic. Roasted in the oven, just some olive oil, salt, and pepper. Delicious. Meat was exceptionally juicy and tender. We'll be buying more. Uh, Five-star review for the A2A2 raw cheeses. Many thanks for A2A2 raw dairy products. We're so pleased to be able to enjoy these exceptional quality nutrient-rich foods. Our appreciation to you for providing this valuable service, gratefully. Five star view for the 25 year aged balsamic. Worth the price. Added to cold salad and also shared it with my sister who wasn't a fan. She is now. Smooth flavor, nicely fragrant, perfectly little pouring spout to make every little drop count to it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, guys. That That's a very special product and it's expensive, but I'm offering it at the best price online. So if you guys do want to get it from me, you're getting a deal for sure. Five star view for the organic jarred honey crisp apples. Dane, uh, deliciously addicting. I'm not really a fan of honey crisp apples, but let me tell you, these are the sh they're hands down better than the Fuji apples I eat on a daily basis. Probably too good, as I ate the whole jar in like 30 minutes. If you ever have had homemade chunky applesauce, you'll love this product. Just be careful with the candida, lol. Uh, whole apples aren't gonna uh, give you candida issues. Something like apple juice might. Fire Star View for the Rice Krispies treats. Boy, amazing quality. There's nothing more to say. If you don't like them, then I'm sorry, baby, but you need to lay off the junk food and learn to eat some real top-notch quality snacks provided by Frankie, LOL. The 10 I ordered will probably last me six months as I can't really even eat more than a fourth. Any kid would love these. Yeah, they're really, when you use high-quality ingredients, saturated fat stuff, they're really, really nutritious and calorically dense. That's another big reason that these other companies use certain ingredients like uh, high omega-6 fats, palm oil, pea protein, this crap is not satisfying your appetite, so you end up eating more bars. They want you to eat three or four of their crappy protein bars and poison yourself instead of just eating one of mine. Five-star review for the milk-fed veal brains. I've had two veal brains so far and they're delicious. I sleep so much better after eating them too. Uh, so... 
We got a bad review. Two star reviews for the bone and ribeye steak. Terrible. I've ordered here numerous times and the meat is always amazing. The bone and ribeye steak, however, must have been a bad batch. The meat is very rubbery and chewy, though it might have been the first one, but three steaks later it's still the same. The other steaks are fantastic. Definitely order from them. Maybe just skip the bone and ribeye. Yeah, so some um so sometimes we get in the, the meat from the Amish farm that's not dry that's not aged at all. So sometimes these really fresh steaks, they're not as tender. So I don't know what temperature you cook those steaks to. Keep in mind that you might have to cook them a little less and make sure to really slice the meat against the grain um, a little thinner. But so ju just be mindful if you guys don't really like like super grassy, sometimes like gamey beef, definitely go for the regular ribeye package. Bug spray feedback, it works. We love it. Have a great weekend. So this guy sent me a photo of, um, he's out in the woods next to a tent holding up the bug spray. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> so I guess it works. Uh, five star view for the A2A2 A2 local raw cheeses. Amazing mozzarella. The A2A2 A2 local mozzarella is simply delicious. I love melting it over a burger patty or just eating it alone. It's that good. Yeah, we sold out, but we'll try to get some more next week. Another review for the bug spray. Fabulous bug spray. Love this stuff. I put it in a smaller bottle and spray it every 30 minutes or so when I go hiking for two to three hours. It smells good and works wonders. Never ever have I used bug spray due to the chemicals, so this is a nice relief from the nasty bugs. Would highly recommend. Thanks, Bay. Uh, we got a five-star view for the Frankie Steak Seasoning. Great seasoning. Delicious steak seasoning that I use for all kinds of beef and even in my scrambled eggs. I always have some on hand now. Uh, then I got an email, product suggestion. Some guy asked me if I could do the carne asada marinade on the Wagyu skirt steak. I mean, I guess I could, but... And then someone, he asked me that he's overcooking the, the bacon every time. Uh, when, when you put the pork bacon or the beef bacon that we have smoked and cured in a pan, you just want it to be on really high heat. For maybe like 30 seconds on each side you just want to get it a little brown because it's already cooked through so you don't want to actually like cook it you just want to warm it up and maybe get a little browning on it yeah but that's everything guys i'm trying my best uh we got a few few new things on the table this week so keep pushing forward i have a few more new things to show you guys next week and maybe we'll do another giveaway maybe something funny for pride month but uh i, I will mention it you know, I, you guys know I, I've de I'm dealing with a lot of negative stuff, and I'm trying to stay positive and work through it, but um, it, it's getting to the point where, like, <laughs> like I, I've worked every day of my life for the past eight years. I'm still killing myself. I'm still, like, kind of kind of scraping by. I, I deal with a lot of harassment and a lot of negative stuff, and you guys will see on every single YouTube video there's someone, someone commenting or harassing or, People leaving negative reviews on my business. These people really, these people really want to try to harass me as much as possible, steal money from me. I'm still dealing with chargebacks. It's just a, a, a lot of negative things, and and all I'm really trying to do is is provide you guys with high quality products at, at affordable prices, and and the whole the whole premise is and the problem is like, and this might not be the best way to word it, but I, I'm going out of my way. I'm being selfless. I'm sacrificing my, my personal life basically entirely to, you know, I guess you could say, for the greater good. And these people, whether it's the HVAC guy, this when this HVAC guy pulls that bullshit, steals $25,000 from me, holds me hostage with my equipment, doesn't even fix it, the guy is basically trying to put me out of business. So the fact that I'm not making a video about him or try to put him out of it. He deserves to be put out of business for what he's trying to do to me. Keep that in mind. It, eye for an eye. He does that to me. I should be able to do the same thing for him. To him, but I'm not because I'm I'm a reasonable and honest person. I mean, if I was, I guess I could say I'm too nice because I, if I was reasonable and honest, I'd be doing the same thing to him. But the fact the fact that I'm trying to do this, um, you know, because I'm not charging enough for this stuff. I don't have anything I look forward to, you know. I'm not spending money on nice stuff. I'm not enjoying my life. I'm not going on vacations. I'm not doing other things these other people are doing. I don't, I, I, I hypothetically, I don't have an internal motivation to be running this business or be doing this. If I'm doing this to help people and to make people happy and healthy, 
like I feel like if I have to deal with any negative things along the way, if you would you would assume, oh, all these other influencers should be supporting Frank Tofano. <laughs> no one else has ever mentioned Frankie Syrian Meat. I'll tell you that for sure. These influencers hate my guts because they want you to go to Costco and they're they're all in it for themselves. But the thing is, all these people love pretending to be like me. And they create the illusion that they're help, they're trying to help you. Do, 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 yet they're charging two to three times as much for the products. Half the time it's snake oil, and they're just a bunch of dirt bags and scumbags. And then they do charity work, and their charity work is like, oh, enter five dollars for a chance to win a ten thousand, and they probably pocket good. I don't want to get too much into it, but uh, point is, guys, support me. Hopefully, we stick it out a little longer, and I don't completely lose my mind. That's that's that, but. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess, to, to put it simply, uh, world is not run by the nice people. World is not run by nice people, so, it's whatever. What's really amazing to me and surprises me is, I, I don't really think I'm like a super creative person, and I don't think I'm the smartest guy, but the, the products I have and the things I do, and like the, for, like the formulations I come with up with on organ supplements and all these different creative stuff like the fact that it doesn't even exist and it's not on the market is, is just shocking to me it just it really shows a lack of, of of people in the health and nutrition space that actually want to provide uh, provide people with good stuff but I'll, I'll stop yapping for today and uh, go eat my lunch at dinner time well hypothetically now we, we have a trustworthy HVAC guy so moving forward from this point on no issues, no issues. Yeah, after, after getting jerked around for how many dozens of thousands of dollars, I finally found one honest contractor. And now at this point in, in my business experience, I know what, what electrical work should cost. I know what HVAC work should cost. I know when I'm getting jerked around. So unfortunately, most of these general contractors and most of these guys are, are going to they're gonna try to take you for a really big ride. And, and the problem is, you know, if, if you pay three times the price for something, it, it really damages your business and and you just can't you can't function it's just it's not it's not it's not fair it's not fair they're already making out like bandits if they charge the fair price but uh, you guys can go to frank com where you'll see all of my interesting uh, unique and creative business ideas Frankie's range meat Frankie's range foods organ supplements Wi-Fi shielding Frankie's naturals yeah I mean you'll, you'll see you'll see these other people that have businesses they'll have nice cars they'll have million dollar houses They'll have their happy family. Da, da, da. But those are those are people in the club. They support each other. They take pride in taking advantage of most of the population. And the reason you don't see me happy with all that nice stuff and all those nice things and a happy personal life is solely because of the way these people have treated me, just like they've treated you, and how uh, how they don't want people that are not. I mean, I'm not going to get into this, but. Um, be surprised if anyone else has even made it this far with a business uh, but whatever